Okay, well, today's a big day. Um, I'm so excited, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Uh, we have an electric bus that's going to be roaming through the city of Detroit with DDOT on it. Big news, big news. Round of applause. Um, so I'm going to speak a little bit about um, uh, where we are and how we got there, but I won't do that just yet. I'm going to invite a few people up uh, and welcome, uh, by the way, if I didn't say that. My name is Michael Oglesby. I'm the Executive Director of Transit for the City of Detroit. Uh, we have a lot of uh, people um, that are here, and we have some uh, dignitaries that, if they are not here, they will be here, so I'm going to say their names anyway. Um, uh, Council Member Fred Durhall, uh, Council Member Coleman Young, the second, and Council Member Angela Whitfield Calloway. And if they do come, I will uh, have them uh, come up and, and speak. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see a few other um, faces in the crowd, and I'll mention your names later. Uh, but we wouldn't be here without the support of the uh, transit advocates. Uh, when I first came here two years ago, they came to me and they said, we want a lot of things, and one of them was electric buses, okay? Um, I also had an opportunity to meet with, uh, from the Office of Sustainability, uh, Joel, Joel Harris. Um, and uh, he had mentioned, you know, what are you going to do with electric buses? What's your mindset? Where are you? Well, you know, and my response was, I've only been here two days. Will you give me a minute? Um, but, but yes, I, 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 I realized that there's a need uh, to do a lot of great things here. Um, but before I get started, I'm going to bring up from the mayor's office the chief operating officer, Mr. Hakeem Berry, to say a few words. Sir? Uh, well, good morning, and uh, this is a great day. Uh, congratulations to uh, Director Oglesby and the entire DDOT team for taking the city uh, one step further in reducing our uh, carbon emissions. And one thing I can say that an idling bus is something that uh, uh, we can do to help uh, improve that. DDOT is our first department. Um, our municipal parking department has uh, uh, ordered a uh, electric vehicles to the changes fleet, and you will see DPW vehicles um, as well. Um, I, I'll be remiss if we didn't thank our partners at DTE uh, Lynn Falson and uh, Mike Chris, uh, who was really instrumental in helping us achieve uh, the grant. And secondly, you know, you can buy the vehicle, but to install the infrastructure to charge it is a whole other thing, which we've learned. And we really want to thank them uh, for being with us every step of the way. And as we continue to purchase more vehicles, uh, will be a great thing for our environment. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, he just stole half of my speech, but we'll leave that alone. Thank you. Uh, before I, I, I get into it, uh, I'd like to call up um, the folks of the hour, Proterra, uh, Ken Becker, to kind of come up and say a few words uh, about what's going on today. So, Ken. Well, good morning, everybody. So my name is Ken Becker, and as uh, Mikhail had uh, mentioned, I'm with Proterra. I'm the regional sales director and, uh, and the person behind uh, having the opportunity of, of, of providing these buses to uh, DDOT in the city of Detroit. It's an honor to be with you to help mark this exciting day for Detroit. Thank you to the entire team of DDOT. Proterra was founded on a simple vision, clean, quiet transportation for all. Our story begins more than a decade ago with the delivery of our very first zero emission battery electric transit vehicles. We are honored to have placed battery electric transit buses on the road for the very first time in North America. Since then, what began with our very first vehicle has grown into a transportation revolution. As cities, states, businesses, and fleet operators embrace zero emission commercial electric vehicles that are powered by Proterra. Transitioning to clean transportation is not just the right thing to do for our health and environment. It's also the smart thing to do for our communities. The benefits of switching to clean, zero-emission transportation are clear. 
Each time a Proterra battery electric bus replaces a diesel bus, 230,000 pounds of carbon pollution are avoided each year, along with other pollutants known to harm human health. Battery electric transit buses offer a low total cost of ownership and less volatile fuel costs, as we all know these days, when compared to internal combustion engines. Further, because electric buses have fewer parts, require no oil changes or emission tests, and place less wear on braking systems, operating and maintenance expenses are substantially lowered compared to diesel alternatives. Without a combustion engine on board, drivers, riders can enjoy a quieter experience aboard the Proterra electric bus, and the wider community benefits from reduced noise pollution. The Proterra ZX-5 featured here today just outside here, is our fifth generation transit vehicle and was built from the ground up with an emphasis on safety, durability, and performance. It is designed to tackle the toughest routes and terrains across North America. We are excited to have our newest technology put into service here in Detroit. Just a few short years ago, the question many were asking was whether the transit market will even move towards electrification. That question has been answered. Thanks to the leadership of cities like Detroit and agencies like DDOT, the transition to clean, zero emission transportation is well underway. Proterra is proud to join you all on this journey as we work toward our collective goal of clean, healthy communities driven by zero emission transportation. The time for clean transportation is now. Thank you so much and enjoy the day. And I would like to quickly present a nice uh, commem commemorative plaque uh, to Mikhail here, commemorating this exciting historic day for Detroit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well said. Um, this is so exciting, I, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm trying to hold it back a little bit. Um, but anyway, well, thank you everyone for coming out uh, to, to, to this event. Uh, we're making history. I've been talking about electric buses since I arrived here two years ago, and it's ironic that we're so celebrating not only deploying a state-of-the-art vehicle, but DDOT was the hundredth customer for Proterra. The reason why I'm mentioning that is because DDOT also turned a hundred years old last week. So this is a, this is a unique, unique uh, opportunity. What a great coincidence. In 1922, the city of Detroit took over the municipal operations of the trolley systems, and here we are 100 years later with technologies that I'd say are a little bit more advanced than they were back in 1922. Um, when this, when, now, when the city took over um, the operation of the trolleys, for those that don't know, uh, it only started with two lines. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be putting our electric, electric buses out right after this event on two of the lines uh, of Mac and Woodward. And then moving forward, we're going to be moving, moving them around in different locations for various reasons. One is this is a pilot program. We want to see if uh, these buses perform the same as uh, our clean diesel buses. That's really the ultimate goal. So you will see them throughout the city. I know a lot of people are going to say, where is it going to be? And, and if I do tell you exactly where it is, I know Cunningham will be there with his video camera. So I'll make sure that, uh, that, that I, don't give you the, uh, I don't give you the exact location right away. But we'll get there, I promise. The city of Detroit is the first large American city to offer municipal transit, and we are once again happy to be at the forefront of transit technology. Bringing electric buses to the city of Detroit is good for all residents, whether they ride the bus or not. I mean, think about it. They're quieter than a standard bus. They produce fewer emissions than a standard bus, which means cleaner air. They're cheaper to maintain than a standard bus, so you can take those resources and put them back into other things like uh, additional drivers, technology. If the potential is limitless. Now, when it comes to the electric bus, it makes for a better experience for the rider. I have, I have a little experience with alternate fuel technology. I was a leader in alternate fuel technology 
um, and we wanted to explore electric buses way back then in 2004. As a matter of fact, I remember meeting Proterra in the early stages. I think um, their sample that they showed me looked like a match car and they said, this is it, but it's going to be something. And look where we are today. Um, um, so the future is bright for all alternate fuel. This may jumpstart a lot of things. We're going to continue this pilot program. We're going to expand it to make sure that these vehicles can perform. I'm confident that they can, but we're going to test them in good old Detroit weather, see how that works out. Uh, we want to make sure that we can get at least uh, 200, 250 uh, miles a day per charge like you do with an electric, uh, I mean with a, a clean diesel um, vehicle. And, and, and one of the reasons why I bring that up is all of the, uh, the alternate fuel technology that I've dealt with has always been in very warm weather. So I'm very excited to, to, to watch us succeed. And you never know, maybe fuel cells are on the horizon. I figure I'll put a little tickler out there for you. Um, Detroit having these buses are exciting and it means we're serious about transit. Not every city tra or transit system has made the jump to electric yet. I believe we're it in, uh, in Michigan right now. Other places include New York City, LA, Chicago. So we're in pretty good company, even Portland and DC. Proterra has provided electric buses for many of the cities that I just named. So I'm excited to see how things work out here. They're the leader in alternate, alternate uh, fuel buses when it comes to electric especially with the technology, and I'm excited to partner with them. Detroiters deserve safe transit. They also deserve sustainable transit. And as we move forward and look at this, we're going to see if it's sustainable. That's the most important thing. It's exciting now. We've worked very hard to, um, to work on the existing system that we have to make sure that the actual routes are sustainable and we're able to provide service, then we want to grow on that. Once we grow on that, we take that and plug in alternate fuel technology and the sky's the limit. So we're off and running. Not only are the buses um, a part of how Detroit can be cleaner, but it increased, uh, Detroit also is working on other uh, things like increasing recycling efforts, emission reduction efforts, uh, and so on. So if you came in and took a look outside, you saw a few buses out there and they have heads on the head signs. One says past, one says present, and one says future. The past is the older vehicle there. Don't ask me how old it is, but it is old. Good news, it runs. And I'm thinking about throwing it out as a throwback bus one day and have people, uh, if, if the weather's good, if the weather's good, um, there's no air conditioning in there. Then you have the present, which is the present bus that you see, and of course the future, the electric vehicle. They represent that we, where we've been and where we're going. The electric bus is going to service today, and again our goal is to spread the four buses throughout the city. The charging station, for those that are wondering, are located at one of our terminals at Shoemaker um, on the east side. If you ride a route out of there, most likely, for now, that's the location that they'll be coming out of. And uh, before it's all over, we want to give you an opportunity to test the vehicle and go for a little test ride after this. So thank you for coming. And on the count of three, I want you all to say it's electric. One, two, three. It's electric. Thank you. I think, I think now we're going to go outside and uh, go for a ride. We, we can do this a couple of ways. I was thinking we can have um, some dignitaries and the press get on the bus and go for the ride first. And then when it comes back, everybody else can. Does that work out for you? That sound good? Okay.